Joey is 16 years old now. He was diagnosed at uh, two and a half. It was just like all your hopes and dreams of your son for the future and for his life have all been destroyed. For the first 14 years of his life, there was no writing, there was no reading, there was no speaking. Who was locked inside? It wasn't until two years ago that I found a letter board and a method of him to communicate with me. The method is called RPM. RPM stands for Rapid Prompting Method. I decided to give it a try, and that first time, I was absolutely like blown away that my son could spell. I had no idea. He has a vocabulary at an eighth grade level, and we never taught him to spell any words except mom and cow. I did not know that he knew fractions and decimals and basically can do 11th grade math. And no one has sat down and taught him that formally. He's just picked it up. When I was a boy, I didn't have a voice. But now I have a voice and a, and a life. My dream is for him to be independent and he spelled out, Mom, do you really think this is possible? And I said, the way you're gonna get there is start learning to take care of yourself. We're working towards that goal. He was tested and the consultant said, Joey can go into business. He's just so smart. About a year ago, he said he wanted to help other autistic people find their voice like he had with RPM. So we decided to start a foundation to do this. The name of the foundation is the Joey Lowenstein Foundation. The word ANSWERS is an acronym for the areas the foundation will support. And ANSWERS represents athletics, Nutrition. All right, so let's do the pineapple first. Okay, so grab the pineapple, put it in there. Excellent. All of those building blocks of nutrition are critical to be able to function naturally daily and handle the underlying condition that you're trying to fight. Your son or daughter is autistic, but there could be another catalyst creating a behavioral issue, and that could be a food. Self-development which is meditation. RPM, which is the way he communicates now with the letter board. I really look forward to more and more people get exposure to RPM, more and more people learn how to do it. Training people, training professionals. And S is for seizure research. At least 30% of people with autism will have at least one or more seizures during the course of their life, which is much higher than the rate in the general population. Joey's very, very proud of the fact that we're moving forward with this now. I'm not the way you always see. I'm not the way you always see.